Okay, so again, good day to all of you. Remember this given um, polynomial kanina. Yan po yung ginamit natin nung previous ano natin, pre, uh, previous video natin na long method. Gagamitin din natin po ulit ito. 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. In our synthetic division, dapat po ang makukuha nating sagot is pareho po doon sa nakaraan o yung previous na nakuha nating um, sagot kanina. Ito po ang synthetic division. Okay? Lahat po ng mga coefficient niya, kailangan ilagay muna natin siya sa standard form. Okay? Naka-arrange naka -arrange na po siya sa standard form. Descending form. 3, 2, 1, and a constant. Okay? Then, ang first thing na gagawin muna natin is Yung constant po dito, yung constant term na lang po dito, kukunin na lang po natin siya or kukopihin na lang po natin siya. Kanina, sinulat ko na para hindi masyadong maabala. It's negative 3. Okay? Sa divisor natin, negative 3. Kinopya lang po natin siya. Okay? Next, lahat po ng mga constant term natin dito, ibababa po natin din sila. Separately. Okay? 2, 2x cubed, 2. Negative 3x squared, negative 3. Negative 5x, sinulat ko rin po dito, is negative 5. And negative 12, nilagay ko po dito, is negative 12. Okay, magdi-divide po tayo ngayon dito. Okay, ito po ang procedure. Okay, sulat natin yung line. Then, bring down 2. Okay. Pagka bring down natin yon, first is multiply po natin ito dito sa ating divisor. So we have 2 times negative 3. Ilan ang sagot? It is negative 6. Ulitin ko, 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 6. Anong susunod na gagawin natin dito? Subtraction. Negative 3 minus 6. So, anong gagawin natin dyan sa negative 3 minus 6? Since subtraction, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, negative 3 plus positive 6, we have positive 3. 3, or positive 3, again, ulitin natin, positive 3 times negative 3 is equals to negative 9. Then, subtraction po ulit tayo dito. Negative 5 minus negative 9. So, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, we have negative 5 plus positive 9 is equal to negative 4. Okay. Or, sorry, positive 4 pala. Sorry. Positive 4. Next, positive 4 times negative 3. Ilan yung sagot natin? It's negative 12. Negative 12 minus negative 12. Change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. 12 plus negative 12 plus positive 12 is 0. Ito na po ngayon yung ating magiging sagot. Ngayon, ang susunod na gagawin po natin ngayon is Tignan natin yung degree of polynomial po niya dito. Ilan yung highest niya? It's 3. Okay? Bawasan po natin ang isa. And then, ilagay po natin yung mga constant niya. Okay. So, we have 2x. 3 ito kanina. So, bawasan natin ang isa. Magiging 2. And then, plus 3x. Saan ko ngayon nakuha yung x? Binawasan ko ng isa yung kanyang exponent. So, 2 minus 1, kaya x na lang siya. Then, plus 4. Ito po ngayon yung ating sagot. Now, I advise all of you na please and kindly check po natin yung nakaraang video po natin. I-compare nyo kung tama ba yung sagot natin kanina dito sa sagot natin na ito. Okay? Next, 
Second example, another example. Function of x is equal to x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1. Kakaiba naman po ngayon yan, kaya po ako nagbigay ng pangalawang example. Okay, ano yung sabi natin kanina? Kukopihin natin yung divisor, yung kanyang constant. Okay, so you have negative 1. Ilalagay po natin siya dito. Ngayon, kukunin natin ang kanyang mga constant. So, ang x cube may constant na 1. Okay? Pero hindi natin sinusulat yung constant niya na 1. Kasi, x cube understood is na yan. Okay? Ngayon, kung ang gagawin mo ay isusulat mo kaagad ang negative 1 with respect to the constant term, medyo nagkakamali po tayo ng konti. Kasi may sinusundan po tayo dito. Okay? Tignan nyo muna dito. Lahat po in each term are descending form. 3, 2, 1, and 0. Yung exponent niya ang tinutukoy ko. X raised to 0. Nabanggit ko yun noon dati sa inyo. Which is the constant term. Dito naman, X cube lang. Walang X squared, kaya 0. Walang X lang, kaya 0 din. Ang last na po na dumating is a constant term. Which is negative 1. Yan po ngayon yung itsura ng ating synthetic division. Now, we are ready to compute for this synthetic division. First is, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1. It's negative 1. Subtraction tayo, so change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. 1. 1 times negative 1 ulit. It's negative 1. Change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. 0 plus 1, 1 po yun. 1 times negative 1, it's negative 1. Change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. 1 plus positive 1 is 0. Ngayon, tignan po natin ulit yung ating sagot dito. Or yung given natin, sorry. So we have 3 ang kanya exponent. So babawasan natin siya. Is equals to x squared plus x plus 1. Ito po yung kanyang quotient or ito po yung kanyang sagot. x squared kasi constant 1. x na lang kasi may constant 1. Paano ko nakuha yung x? Squared minus 1. Yung exponent, ang tinutukoy ko, bawasan ko ng isa, kaya x na lang. Descending form. And then, a constant 1. Yan po ang kanyang sagot. Now, my dear um, <coughs> student, kindly pakisagutan po ito sa inyong one whole. Okay? Please answer using long method and synthetic division. Okay, kung paano nyo gagawin, pwede nyo pong panoorin ulit yung video na ito. Okay, here's the given. Function of x is equal to x raised to 5 minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Again, para mas maintindihan nyo ng mabuti, panoorin nyo po ulit yung video natin na ito. Okay, thank you and God bless ulit.